Welcome down to the Molten Man Cave. I'm Keith. And I'm Dave. Tonight we're doing a whiskey from the Valley of the Rocks. All right, so we're back, and as I said, tonight we're going to be reviewing a whiskey from a distillery known in Gaelic as the Valley of the Rock. What is the where? What is the valley? So is it just a valley with a bunch of rocks? Glen Alaki. So right. obviously, you know, a lot of times, a lot of the different distilleries, it's like Glen, yeah, yeah. Livet, Glen Fittick, and it, you know, it means different, like the Valley of you know the water or the Valley yeah. of the Fields. Excuse me. You know, so this is the Valley of the Rocks, apparently the Rocks. close to this distillery. I actually didn't do any research on that. Yeah. Yeah. Must be kind of rocky around there. That's awesome. In Glen Alaki. So tonight we're doing Glen Alaki 15. Um, most of our viewers might know because most of the viewers that we have tend to be pretty serious whiskey drinkers. Um, Glen Alaki has gained some attention as of late. I believe it was two or three years ago, Ralphie made Glen Alaki. I think it was the 15 or... Maybe the 18, I'll put it right there, his whiskey yeah, of the year, year and yeah. kind of put them on the map. One thing great about them, they do everything the right way, like a craft distillery, craft presentation at 46% ABV, which this is, natural color and non-chill filter. And that's the lowest that they go is 46% ABV. Mm. And a lot of them are cast strength or even higher. So um, look at the color on that, 15 year old, and it's no, it's really? natural color. For a 15 year old, and I don't, um, I'm not costs? sure if it's no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there might be some bourbon. Uh, it's pretty dark. Uh, but there's I'm a lot, kidding, I'm just there's a lot of sherry there. So we'll put the cast maturation right there. So anything else about Glenowaki? I think this is the first that we've done. I don't know. Uh, I think we may have had one. I may have had one that I've shared with you. Yeah. I don't think we've reviewed a Glenowaki. What's the, what's Craig Alaki is there? It is. I was gonna Craig, say. I was Craig, like, well, when, Craig Gellicky is actually Craig Gellicky, but a lot of people say Craig Alachi or, or Craig Alaki. Yeah. But this is Glenalaki. 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 Um. I'm excited for it, man. Another thing, you know how I love Glen. I haven't Glen. had a drink. You know how I love Glendronic. Yo, yeah. So Billy Walker is kind of the, the master distiller and the mm -hmm. the brains behind the operation that, that revived that distillery and just made it amazing. And he's kind of moved on since then. And Billy, Lackey, we've, Billy we've been busy. We <laughs> will respond. <laughs> we will. Um, sorry. Yeah. We got bigger fish to fry than to talk to you, Billy. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, Bill. But anyways, he is now at this distillery, and I believe uh, Glenn Lasalle and a couple other yeah. ones. Um, and so, these are some of his uh, first fruits kind of thing. Yep. That's so without great, further man. ado, let's, let's get, get into some, into whiskey. some whiskey. Ping! You've been liking Sherry lately, right? Don't lie. Dude. Tonight, I'll oh, go, oh, oh, oh. I've got a story to tell you, man. So... I went hard in the paint. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. If you want it, you're free to have it. No, oh, I will. Maybe just a little bit. <laughs> Wrong polo. Um, man, I I have been busy at work. We had a lot of people want hearing aids, huh? <sighs> All those baby boomers <laughs> should have worn ear protection. Um, anyways. We had a patient, or we had an audiologist in our um, Columbus offices <clears throat> whose wife's mother and grandmother both got COVID and died within a month of each other. How old were they? Older, other health issues, things like that. Just the type of people that... Should be scared. Yep, yeah, should, should, should probably should have been a little bit more careful. Um, but I'm sure they were careful because just accidents happen, things happen. Life, man. Anyways, it's been tough ever since and they ended up moving and everything. So I've had to fill in in Columbus again. So you're driving all the way there now? Yeah. You, you always get the crap end of the stick. But that makes sense being... Yeah, little man on the stone pole? Yeah. Oh, no, no, that's not right. But you'll, you'll make the... Gotta pay those dues. Yeah. 
<laughs> you're looking at your dad Bill. if he watches the show. Yeah, pay those. <laughs> I know Bill occasionally watches. That's why you're doing to send a subliminal message. Bill. Bill. Pay me more, man. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> love you. All right. So what do you get on the nose? Oh, wow. I immediately just, it's like a. It's, yeah, it reminds me of. Uh, Abra <sighs> Okay. Clove, cinnamon, anise, brown sugar. Reminds me of raisin brand cereal. Yep. Definitely um, raisins. Raisins and. I don't know. It's got a, it's got a brand to it. Kind of a malted, kind of like a granola. There's definitely a granola. Raisin bran and granola is definitely spot yeah. on. Slight tad bit of chocolate. Um, Some cinnamon dates, red hot dates. dates. Yeah. Maybe even a little, a little praline pecans. Oh, I'm with you there. You know, the, the English and the people in the UK love to say Christmas cake, you know, with all that comes along mm -hmm. with it, but I, I have to admit, Christmas cake. Christmas cake. Also reminds me of. Have you ever had a true Christmas cake like the, the English? Like a fruit cake? cake? Yeah. Uh, no, it's a little they're different. Gross. <laughs> they're not the best. Some of them, I don't know. They're okay. And they're like forty days old by the time you eat it. <laughs> um, oh, I lost my train of thought, Dave. Catch it. A little bit of butter, buttery cinnamon, like a uh, cinnabon, like a cinnamon roll. Just with everything that comes along with the cinnamon roll. Reminds me of like a whipped cream or like a, it's got a very airy, airiness to it, even though it's dark and lots of, lots of dark fruits like raisins and dates and things like that. To me, it has a, a lightness to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Smells great, man. All right. On the palate, what do you get? Maybe a little honeycomb cereal, too. I'm in a cereal mood. I'm going to go home and eat some cereal. Cereal. Is black that tea, a... Black tea and honey. Cereal. Uh, honeycomb UK cereal. Thing? Huh? Is cereal a uh, uh, EU? I'm not sure. I think United obviously Kingdom some thing? because I think it's... Yeah. Um, I, th I still don't think it's quite as big as here. I don't know if you're from uh, no, yeah. Europe or the UK. Shout out you your favorite let us know. Uh, cereal. If you're or, a Lucky uh, Charm. Uh, yeah, yeah. If there's a local Corn delight. Pops. Was that one? Corn Pops? Yeah, Corn Pops. I love Corn Pops. Mother. Oh, Were you a cakes. Fruity Pebbles or a, a Cocoa Pebbles? Uh, I liked Fruity Pebbles. See, I'm all Cocoa Pebbles. Cocoa Pebbles. Pebbles. I like Fruity Pebbles. They're I'm good. I'm pretty sure Fruity Pebbles are all the same flavor. Just like <laughs> Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops are all the same flavor, dude. Really? There's blue like a different color? Yeah. Really? Yep. Are you sure? I swear. All the same color. That was cheeky. I know. You know what? All the same color. I said color. All right, what else you got on the... Uh, on the nose, or are we getting into the palette? The palette. Shout out Ty, my neighbor. <clears throat> gave me my uh, Welcome to the Neighborhood present. Bottle of E. Logic Craig? No. H. Taylor? Taylor. No yep. way. Single barrel? Yep. Or the small batch? Small batch. How did he even know? We were over at his house saying hi, because we can now, because vac vaccinations. And, uh, he was asking me, like, what I like to drink and stuff oh, like that. Oh, I haven't that. been following that at all for about six months. No worries. <laughs> Go ahead. Just saying it to be politically correct. <laughs> yeah. To, to uh, si uh, virtue signal. <laughs> um, he's like, what do you like to drink? And I said, you know, I was like, uh, I'm really down with, like, cheap stuff, Elijah Craig, Four Roses. And and I was like, but mm, I like... I uh, like E.H. Taylor, and he's like, and he knew exactly. He's like, stay right here, or no, no, not right, not. He's like, hold on, or he, he had he, he didn't even say hold on. He went inside, grabbed a bottle, brand new bottle, yeah. unopened. Yeah, he owns a bar though. What? Yeah, 
That's amazing, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Man. He's like, dude, I get all this stuff all the time. Just let me know. Yeah, we need to talk uh, off camera about this. Yeah, it was a pretty, it was a pretty sweet, sweet hookup. So I get cloves again, cinnamon hot, cinnamon rolls, um, Christmas cake, anise, ginger, a little bit of chocolate. I think the heat and the spiciness keeps the chocolate from like kind of showing up as much as just kind of there in the background. The spice is really gonna yeah. take the take the show. It has a very um if you take soy sauce and mix it with uh the uh um why did my mind just go blank? The horseradish, the green wasabi? horseradish, wasabi. Yeah. It does. It's like well, especially on the aftertaste, because yeah. it's it's very hot. Yes, yeah, on the aftertaste. Um, I'm trying to decide if that's more the cask. Is it the a youthful distillate combination of both? It's not unpleasant though. I mean, no. obviously in a perfect world, you know, you want it beautifully rounded, but still full of flavor, but yeah. it works. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Oh, great. For a and the cinnamon this was a very well priced. Note, it, it does mimic a cinnamon red hot, uh, kind of feeling that the coat to your mouth that it's got mm -hmm. definitely has a texture to it. What about the vanilla? Yeah. I get a pretty long finish because that cinnamon red hot, mm -hmm. ginger spiciness, cinnamon rolls on fire. I don't remember it being this spicy. I don't know if it's because it's my first drink of the night that it's like seems spicier than usual. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you what though, I did a little experiment. So I have a 30 year old um, PX sherry cast, like actually from yeah. Spain. Yeah, like PX. a real sherry cast. And, yeah. you know, I had this theory because a lot of the Glendronic, like the 20 year old single cast they're just like look like coffee they're so dark and i just had a theory i'm like you know i wonder how much of those like the really dark ones are just are wet cast and for those of you who don't know what wet cast are it's basically first fill wine bourbon or sherry cast that literally have came you know they dumped out the bourbon they dumped out the sherry and that's the first time it's being used and they put you know the scotch in it now what's even different there's different types of first fill. So it's where it's been completely emptied and dry or if it's wet, basically there's like like a 10th of like the sherry still left in there dripping off the wood. Not that like, how much of those like really sherry bombs are just cause it's wet cast. Like literally like a one, one 20th, this is actually just sherry in there. So I added some of that PX to this and my gosh, it literally tasted like Glendronic 20 single cast. Wow. So that, let me know right there how much wet cast like Cavalon, they do wet cast how much wet cast i wish more people would really do it i know it's kind of cheating a little bit but if it tastes good i don't care boom uh, yeah do it right isn't that the whole there's kind of some um legalities there i think they kind of do it uh and they like talk about it because right. technically it would be i think with the Ooh, scotch whiskey association doing it it's not talking about that. it that leads into the question that yeah but before we get there, yeah, yeah. long, short. Okay, notes so stand definitely out. long for me as well. The the notes that stand out for me are those some of that savory, the savory hot cinnamon notes. But then that for me, the raisin, the dates, those dark figs. Yeah, figs, all of it. Cinnamon rolls. It really stays with brown it. Brown sugar and butter. <laughs> it's a very even though there's that little bit of heat to it, it's around. I it's an it's a nice little dram. It's different, but something about this reminds me of Macallan. It's got a little bit of that yeah. Like yeah. flintlock yeah. and like matchstick. Yep. Flintlock. All right, so multi main cave mark. What are you gonna give it? Uh I'm gonna give this an eighty-eight. Yeah. I was teetering on an 87, 88, which with the new scoring, because I'm trying to be more and more Me too. conservative. Me too. I think like early on, if I would have tasted this three years ago, 96. it would have been like a 92, 93. Like I would have looked, like this would have been like my dream dream. Like when I was. And I would have given it a 70. <laughs> yeah. And before you, <laughs> Sherry really. <laughs> it has, you've started to like Sherry a little bit. Yeah. I'm appreciating it more. I, it's less whiny to me. Yeah. Like I can I can pick out vinegar. More than, yeah. What did you vinegar say? raisin wine. Raisin wine vinegar. <laughs> raisin wine vinegar. That wasn't a <laughs> the comment section was lit. 
All right. Anything that, else I want to say about this? Yeah. So I'm going to give it an 87, which mm -hmm. when I first tried this, it would have been like a 93 because this is delicious. Beginners are going to love this, love this, love this. Yeah. And I'll give this an 88 Coors Lights out of 100. <laughs> oh, no. Which leads us to the question of the night. We kind of talked about cheating a little bit, like with the wet cask, which I don't think the Scotch Whiskey Association um, appreciates. We were talking about... Cheating in baseball. I was uh, <clears throat> today, over the past couple weeks, there's been some discussion about some cheating. And recently there was a game where a pitcher came out basically to the mound. And uh, even before he threw the first pitch, head umpire walks out and is like, you got to change your hat, man. And on his hat, as he's walking out from the, the, the bullpen, you can see there's a little glistening spot on the top of his hat. And it's where he just consistently Not touches his hat. It. Doesn't even try to hide it. So, um, <clears throat> pitchers have rosin bags that they use for control of the ball. Hitters don't care. They don't care if a pitcher is, ta is getting their fingers tacky. Because they would rather have a pitcher have control of the baseball going 100 miles per hour than <laughs> not have control it. of the baseball, okay? And so that tackiness gives them the control. Fantastic. The issue is, is right now, um, it's sunny out and uh, players are wearing sunscreen. And when you combine sunscreen with rosin, it creates... Stick them! Glue, basically. <laughs> and there have been players, there's been photos of as the pitchers releasing the ball, there's literally like threads coming off their fingers to the ball. Wow. Okay. And so it's all about RPMs in baseball for like if you're throwing a, a curveball or a slider. Um, the longer your fingertips can stay on the ball, um, the faster that ball is going to keep spinning through the air and it's going to spin faster and move more. And uh, literally some of these pitchers are gluing their fingertips to that ball to get them from 2,700 to over 3,000 RPM, which Jeez. is... Or, or, yeah, 27. I just want an equal playing field. If, if we're going to ever let everybody do it or don't yeah. do it at all, you yeah. either need to shut it down or let everybody do it. Yeah. And that's just like, that's. Right. Or just, yeah. So uh, it's like, uh... <clears throat> and by the way, the pitcher struck out everybody, like had a fantastic inning. Didn't even bother him. Didn't even bother him that he had to have, then it had to have. It was just literally that way because he had touched it so much. So, anyways. Cheating in sports. Anything come out to mind to you? Say that again? Cheating in sports. What comes to mind for you? I'll tell you what, for sure. Yeah. I never, you know, not that I, I'm sure there's always a little bit. Home You know, we know about Pete Rose. <laughs> okay. We know oh, about yeah. Michael Jordan betting on stuff. There was no proof that he actually was like cheating, but like that he was betting. You know, they used to do stick them in football and catch the ball. Catch the ball. Um, but. For the first time, when the Cleveland Cavaliers played the Golden State Warriors in game one, the year after they won the championship, or was that two years after, when Kyrie was gone? Yeah, I think it might have been two years. I have never watched a game like the NBA does not want Cleveland to win game one. Like, it was very clear to me. Like, wow. The way that it was being called. Every 50-50 ball was going to go. And you knew you could tell that they had marching orders. So I think, I don't... They can only do so much, but I definitely think that there's times that the league says every 50-50 ball we want going this way. And I don't think that happens all the time, but sometimes for sure. Yeah. When it affects their bottom line, when they want a certain matchup, they want LeBron to make the finals, they want Steph Curry and them to, to you know to win, or whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um What do you think about actually people like rigging the game? Like lower level people like maybe like middling oh so like the whole thing speaking baseball the astros a couple of year years ago um they would have somebody in the stands thumping something or like thumping a trash can to let the uh to basically steal the signs from the pitcher what <laughs> what what pitch was coming and they did it all year long and it was like this huge operation hey if you're not treating, you ain't trying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Says Bill Belichick. So for me, uh, cheating for me, um, I'm going to just stick with baseball all night. I don't know why. 
I think it's because Ben is is really enjoying baseball. He's catching and he's loving it and he's doing great. Dude, his athleticism has definitely oh, yeah. rocketed. We were just were at the pool when his son was there and I just started throwing the football to him. He caught it every time, dude. I know, man. He's got he's good. Definitely he's definitely better. Good. Yeah, yeah, he's catching. He turned a double play the other day. Nice. Yeah, caught the ball. Caught the ball. And then had the presence of mind to throw it to first to tag the guy that took off it from That's first. Awesome. Yeah. So I'm coaching Ella. I think I've told you off camera. Yeah. I'm coaching my daughter's um, softball team. And at first she was doing like really good, like hitting the ball. She's not like super fast. Um, and this is her first year. She's in first yeah. grade. Um, but she was hitting the ball okay. And then she went to slump. I think too many people were like trying to give her advice. And uh, she like yeah. two games worst. in a row, she struck out every time. And I was uh -oh. like, no. This is not happening. And so I worked with her. Um, the key was, so I had my wife pitch it and I got her behind. She, she was doing like this should be here. And then she'd like then wind back and then go. I'm like, she needs to keep it more. Yeah, 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 so yeah, I came yeah, behind her and just held it yeah. and then swung with her. Yeah. Apparently she just got a feel for it because she went four for four the next game. Oh, that's great. And Good then she was two all. for two the next game. Great. So, oh, that's awesome. Just, daddy, just coach, awesome. coach daddy. Listen coach to your daddy. dad. All right, guys, thank you as always for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the yeah. notification bell, and remember. Yeah, yeah, bourbon's best. This beautiful scotch. <laughs> All right, tonight.